Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to Band Management. Band Management is a very exciting mini-series that I'm going to start on this channel, and it's essentially a blend of the two main focuses of the channel thus far. Uh, those would be Bucket Plugins and Java, as well as web-related web stuff, the PHP and HTML. So we're going to create a system that allows you to ban people from bucket servers and um, it will be stored in a database so it's global if you have multiple servers um, then you will be able to do this and it will apply across all of your servers um, and it will also have a web part so people can go on to see if they are banned you know why they're banned and stuff like that so here is a little flow table of how this is going to work. We have four different parts, a bucket plugin, a database, a website, and a web API. So the first thing that we'll look at is the database. We're going to have a database, we're going to use MySQL, and that's going to store the data that's associated with these bands. We need to have a database instead of a flat file for two reasons. First of all, this is global, so it needs to apply on multiple servers and not just one. But also, excuse me, we are going to have a website. So we're going to store everything inside of a database. Uh, the database will then connect to a web API. This is going to be written in PHP, and it's going to contain all of the functions that we need for the database. So in the Java part, when we write the bucket plugin, we're not going to be directly connecting to the database and executing queries. We're going to use um, some API commands in our web API. So instead of inserting something uh, manually, we might have an insert page that takes a couple of get arguments for the stuff that needs to be inserted and then it does that call for us so all the database stuff is part of the web and it's not part of the bucket the web API is going to send data to the website and the bucket plugin so if you go to the website that hosts this um, it will you know use some calls from the web API to get information. So we have our database that is sending data to the web API. The web API is going to send it to the website and also to the bucket plugin. If you want to check in bucket if someone's banned, uh, you can do that. And then if you decide that you want to ban someone, it's going to send that data back to the web API, which is then going to send it to the database. So that's sort of how it's going to work. It's these four parts and they're all going to work together and essentially everything's going to go back to that web API. So you can access it with a bucket plugin, a website, or you could even write something else. If you could think of another way to display this information, uh, you can use that web API to send and receive information, and you can get it. Now you'll notice that the website does not send any information back to the web API. At this point, I don't really have plans for online band management, but if that's something that you guys want to see, uh, we could definitely do that. It would just take a little bit of extra time, so let me know. That is where we're going with this uh, series. We're going to be covering, again, Bucket, PHP, HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, um, and MySQL. So those are all the different things that will show up in this one series. Thanks, guys, for watching, and be on the lookout for Episode 1, where we will get to work. Bye for now.